guys, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Yay. Okay. Uh, not a lot happened last time, but we finally got a bigger wallet, and we got ourselves some bombs. Yay. Okay, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to collect a few more stuff, going to get Nehru's pearl, and hopefully make our way over to the third dungeon. Not necessarily in that order. Okay. First off, we'll go grab the 100 rupees that's in Grandma's house. I don't know what this is doing under here. I mean, it's not as if she's going to get under here. Oh, well. This is not a known secret. Or it is known, just not very well known. You have to have played this game to death. Or I'll get a walkthrough in order to really know about that. I can't say I've seen many walkthroughs and such uh, go and bother showing that off. But there you go. So now that I've got a little bit of extra cash, I can pretty much build up a nice little fortune for myself. Okay, this is... Well, what's happened with the pig? There's only one, and it is freaking huge. Now, may as well show it off. There's a thing you can do with pigs. Ah, okay. Well, I can't really show it now. I probably should have showed it with the little ones. Okay. I, I, didn't, I only tried it after getting the power bracelets. I didn't know you actually needed the power bracelets. Not that it matters. Also, I keep seeing that red rupee at the top there. I might go get it. And then we'll quickly uh, sort out the whole Nehru's Pearl trouble. Seriously, there's rupees all over the place here. Actually, I don't think I'll be able to reach out with my boomerang now that I think about it. I've got no hope. I should be able to reach out with my boomerang now. There we go. Getting that will be a challenge there. Hmm. I might leave that for later. Give me your jelly. Whoops. Okay, now that we got all that sorted, let's do the mission. It's around the back of Outset Island, so... Actually, what... Oh, damn it! What way's the wind fly? Yes, I'm ready! Go. Okay. Wrong one. First off, we'll get this. May as well start getting them now. Oh, I think I went past that. Yeah, I did. Hopefully I'll have more luck now. There we go. Hooray! What's the chance it's 50 rupees? Someone owns me a drink now. Okay, uh... Let's quickly get the wind blowing. It won't matter too much, but considering I do need to get to the back of the island in fairly decent pace... Can you see that little bit of water there? That's basically the mission. Right, now to drive into the whirlpool. This is where things get interesting. Okay, we need to shoot that down. Oops. Preferably with better aim than what I'm showing off. I'm not sure how many times you spin around this. I've never actually failed it before.
There we go. Okay, one down. Oh shit, I've only got three bombs left. Okay, I've completely forgotten how to do this. Oh, well, fuck. Whoops. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, maybe I was being a little bit careless. I think you actually have to target the correct space of where you need to hit. That makes sense. I'm gonna, I don't want to keep changing the wind, because that will just waste some time. Come on, keep going. Alright, there's Beetle. At least he's in a decent place. Okay. Grab some more bombs and then try it again. I'm not sure how much he sells them for though. Hmm. Thirty bombs and thirty rupees. Now I have thirteen points saved up. Yay! Bye. That's a good price. Okay. Somehow I teleported all the way here. I don't know whether the, the slabs have reset. That's the first time I've ever failed that. Hmm. Let's try it again. Yeah, that's reset. Okay. Methinks I'll wait. By the looks of it, it doesn't really pull me in until I run out of bombs anyway. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you definitely have to hit the weak spot. Or weak most of spot. Can I just, like, aim really high now and just... Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Much, much better succession when you're actually trying to do it properly rather than just shooting randomly. Right, I am going to save state here because I can almost guarantee it's going to freeze. Right, this guy only speaks in highly and kind of like Valu. God, what, the texture on his lips looks really strange. He looks really angry. Ah, no, he's just back to normal. So now he gives us Nehru's Pearl without the need of going through a dungeon. This probably shocked Link. Still, the only way you're going to know what Jabon's saying is when you complete the game round once and do New Game Plus. Alright, has it froze? I think it has. Okay, I will be right back outside. Alrighty then, now that I got that sorted, uh, 
we can now make our way to placing these pearls where they belong. You saw that I marked one of the, tri of the triangle islands on my map. Well, now I have to put these pearls on each of the triangle islands. There are three of them. Unfortunately, I did have to cut a little bit of dialogue, but it was basically the King of Red Lions saying that uh, we've done enough work to stop Ganon's curse now. So as you can see, it's not hammering down with rain anymore. Which is always good. Turns out the save state trick didn't really do much. It kept on freezing even when I tried to work out the bypass on the thing. If you get my meaning. <laughs> anyway, I'm not too bothered about the freezing too much. It does get annoying, but I'll live with it. Now, I think that's one of the places I want to mark on my map, just quickly. But I am not too sure. It seems like it. And I really hope it is, because if I find this one, along with that volcano one, then this will just make searching for some items very, very simple. Because I keep forgetting where this one is on the map. I knew the volcano was next to Dragon Roost, but I keep on forgetting where this one is, and I am wrong. Okay. I just set forth as normal then. I really thought that was the island. Hmm. Shame. And there's one of the fairy isles as well. I am not sure if that's one of the ones that I'm able to go in at this current stage. I might be able to. Hmm. Suppose it couldn't hurt to check. Okay, um, that we'll be dealing with later, that giant big fuck-off cyclone over there. Yeah, we'll be sorting that a bit later. Uh, okay. Well, let's get a bit of monies. Let's sail a bit closer. Or cruise a bit closer, rather. I'm not going to be grabbing all of these, so, but if I ever keep passing around this island, I'll pick one up. Because I think they're only 20 rupees each. Yep. When you usually see the rings in a cl little cluster like that, then you're pretty much looking at 20 rupees. Ugh, oh, damn it. No! I was playing a bit of uh, Twilight Princess, and they swapped the, the item and the map thing around. It made things a bit confusing. That cyclone is ridiculously close. I really hope I don't get caught in it, because that just puts you off in a really random place on the Great Sea. Okay, let's get this sorted. Shark Island. Yeah, Cyclos. This is one of uh, this is that's basically Cyclos there in that massive cyclone. I don't quite have the tool to be dealing with them yet, but I will change that soon enough. Okay. You know, I am waiting for it to be nice and sunny, believe it or not. Yeah, one of the great fairy isles. Now, I'll quickly mark this one on my map and hopefully hopefully, I'll be able to get one of the um, thingies that I'm after, one of the little expansions. 
but probably not. Actually, maybe this one will tell me what's required to get in. What is required? Ah. Yeah, he's basically talking about what you need to do with a pig. Won't go into much more detail. And I don't... Oh, I might do. Yeah, I can get through that. Okay. Also, while I'm here, I'll be able to get something else. Actually, I'll just use that. Alright, and then just get this out. Because on islands like this... Uh, he's around here somewhere. There he is. Blue chews. These give you blue jelly, of course. It, there's only 15, I think. Actually, no, there might be 20. You can't get chew jelly from the same chew over and over again. You have to get it from multiple different ones. That's what makes it a little bit more of a challenge. Anyway, let's see what we get here now. No, I don't remember what I get from these Great Fairy Isles. And now I can carry more bombs. Fantastic. That's actually really nice, because now I don't have to worry about running out of bombs. Trust me, it's very difficult to run out of bombs when you carry in 60 of them. Alright, now that that's sorted... Hang on, what's my boat? Aha. Uh -huh. We can head off doing the proper quest. And it's also sunny, yay! Whoops. Uh, should be able to do all these islands in the scale of time. Alright. Not doing bad on marking these map islands. Hmm. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, damn it, I knew I'd end up doing this one first. Okay, at least I have a weapon to deal with them. Uh, if I can target them, I'll... These are, they're a lot easier to kill if you got a bow. Uh-oh. Okay, that was close. Oh shit, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I hate these things so much. <sighs> I was hoping I wasn't going to do this one because this is the more annoying one. Okay, chart me up. Southern Triangle, or Southern Triangle Isle. Yes, I know, I've already taken some pictures. Whoa! Get away from me! Get out, get out, get out! Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, God. Let's save.
Alright, so now we're doing Nehru first. There's bloody fish in the background. Alright. And now, I don't think there's any blue chews here. And the island's far too small. So gonna get here. So. Oh dear. Oh Christ. Um I could go off to the east and do that one first. Right, yeah. I'll do that one first. So, okay, yeah, that, that looks alright. I know I could have taken them out with the cannon, but hmm, I, don't, I didn't feel like it. I prefer taking them out with the bow. Much I can say now. There's a lot of that's already been said. Uh, oh, there's another great fairy isle. Um, ooh, I don't think that's on route. I think that's on the island above. I might be able to pick that up on the way down, actually. And this is going far too slow. You can see what I mean by this being the most played bloody song in the game, though. I don't even know how much time has passed. I need like a timer or something to tell me how long these are going to be. I'm trying not to make them like half an hour long, but there's very few points where I think would be decent to end the video. I mean, I'm planning on ending this video the moment the next dungeon appears. Right, this one we've already marked, so... We don't need to worry about that. However, we do have these guys, and I'm not sure if I've already spoken to these. I think there are several, and different ones give you different stuff. I think. I know I've got one of them. That can't hurt to, to check. Or I could just sail or slide right past them. Hello. Yeah. Ah, okay. Maybe not. I don't know whether it's just the one that gives you it. Oh well. Now we, now I believe this is Feral's Pearl. This one here. No, it's Din. Quickly save. I'm saving a lot more often now. Oh, so it was ferals. I keep forgetting what the shapes are. <laughs> well, I could have sworn this one was dead. Yep. Hang on. No, Den is the one with the weird sort of note looking things on it. Alright, one more to go. 
Uh, so I need to go northwest. Okay, that's heading right for the Fairy Isle anyway, so let's see what's over there. Gotta be careful with these Fairy Isles though, because I don't want to waste too much time on them. Remember, I'm only getting these because I'm passing them. I mean, I'm not deliberately trying to get them. If I pass them, then I don't mind getting on there to try and get the treasure. But the reason why I'm trying to wait until Forsaken Fortress Part 2 is cleared is because by that time, I think I would have had all of the items necessary to get into these places. The item requirements change a lot. Oh god. Well, when I say the item requirements change, I mean... They change depending on what island you're going to. Anyway, you know me, I, I struggle speaking. And it's another one I can use bombs for. Also, hello, there's one of the Koroks with his dying tree. Anyway, I'll quickly mark this on me map. Me map I do. <sighs> I think now I'll be pushing my luck with the Fairy Isles. So now we have Eastern. Oh yeah, the auction on Windfall. I will be doing that when I got a shit ton of money. There will be a reason why. Well, I don't even need to explain it. You should know what auctions are. This is the only Zelda game that has an auction, funny enough. Can't wait till I get in the third dungeon. It's the best dungeon in the game by far. That should do it. Yep. And we'll grab the next shoe while we're here. In fact, I'm not even going to bother killing it. Where are you? Alright, job done. That's the only purpose of them. When you kill the same chew that you've already killed for blue jelly, uh, you will only get 10 rupees. Just uh, something to keep in mind. <laughs> Alright, what do I get now? I'm thinking to myself it's a bigger wallet. Or it could be even more bombs. Even more bombs! Now I can carry 99 of them. Wow. Okay, so now I've got two bomb bags all in one uh, part. That's me boat. Oh, that's the one problem with these aisles. When you get out of them, you don't know where your boat's gone. Alright. Oh. I can see the island right off in the distance. It's probably going to freeze after the cutscene when I place this pearl down. But it's one of my favourite cutscenes in the game. I'll be doing the towers as well during one of my uh, sail throughs. As I said, there'll be a great sea exploration after the Forsaken Fortress, and then the great sea exploration once I've just before I enter the last dungeon, just to finish up with everything that needs to be done. And there's another cyclone, big one. Just uh, sail past that. I think I need to mark this island. Yeah. 
Okay. I can do that. We have to buy more bait. Oh, damn it! It's already frozen. Okay, I will be meeting you on the island itself. Alrighty then, made it back onto the island. Okay, what I've done, I've already charted this island and the fish was only speaking of the children of Windfall, saying how they're being a bit of a nuisance. Anyway, finally got to the last uh, statue where we need to place the pearl and we are gifted with a cutscene. And one of the best cutscenes by far. I'm just gonna let you see this. Poor Link. That must have been a bit painful. Oh my god, it didn't freeze. Well, anyway, now that Link has been blown up, spelted against his second building, we can now go into the third dungeon. This is by far my favourite dungeon, and I love it. It is just amazing. And a seagull just flew out of it. Oh, I really can't wait to do this. Welcome to the Tower of the Gods. One of the best dungeons ever in Zelda history. So good. But we can't do it in this part, so I will see you next time for the Dungeon 3. Haha, <laughs> I love it.